Rearranging a formula is also known as changing the subject. The subject of a formula is the letter or variable that is on its own on one side of the equals. For example, y is the subject of the formula because it's on its own and x has other things around it. Changing the subject means that you are going to make something else be on its own. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say I had the formula y equals x plus 6. If I want x to be the subject, I'm going to move this 6 to the other side of the equal sign. Don't forget, when you move something, it becomes its inverse. Inverse means opposite. The opposite of add is take away. The opposite of times is divide. Let's do it then. Let's move this 6 to the other side of the equals. And you've finished, because x is on its own. Let me show you a different one. y equals 5x. I want to rearrange the formula. Currently, this 5 is timesing the x. So when I move it to the other side, it's going to become a divide. And you've finished. What happens though, if you get a slightly harder one? I'm going to start by moving this minus 7. Minus 7's inverse is add 7. So let's move it over. Y add 7 equals 3x. Then I'm going to move this 3. Y add 7 divided by 3 equals x. And I've finished. It's very similar to the method that you use when solving equations. Just remember, any time it moves over the line or over the equal side, it becomes its inverse. You have a go. There are three questions here. You can pause the video and have a go at those on your own whiteboard. Let's go through some answers. Currently, this 2 is timesing the x. So, when I move it over, it's going to become a divide. Done. You could write that as x equals y divided by 2. It doesn't matter. This 1 is currently adding. So, when I move it over, it's going to become a takeaway. Done. Start off moving this minus 2. And then move this times 4. Done. If you got any of those wrong, ask somebody else in the class or put your hand up. But I'm going to ask you to try three more. Let's make this one a little bit more tricky. Pause the video now while you have a go at them on your whiteboard and then I'll go through some answers. Okay, this one. Start by moving the minus 2 and then the 3. So this one would be x add 2 divided by 3 equals t. Done. This one would be x take away 6 equals t. Done. And this one, this is currently a divide by 3, so it will times x on the other side. Done. An interesting real life example of this would be the speed distance time formula. Well, you've learnt that you use the formula triangle. However, the formula triangle is just an easier way to explain that you're actually rearranging the formula. If you wanted to find D, you wanted to find distance travelled, 
you could rearrange this formula so that D becomes the subject. So I've got a divide by T now, so on the other side it will become a times by T. And speed times time equals distance. If I then wanted to find time, I could make that the subject. So, time equals distance divided by speed. Speed, distance, time only comes up on the linear exam. Now I'd like you to have a go at the activity that I've provided. If you get stuck, either re-watch part of the video, ask a friend, or as your last resort, put your hand up. Well done. Let's see.